Shalom to our dear Talmidim. I wanted to share with you a short insight into this week's Parsha, Parsha's Kiseitse. And it's based on a story that took place probably somewhere in the 1930s in London, when Rabbi Cheskel Abramsky, the great Dayan, and uh, Talmud Chacham, was preparing for his Friday night Parsha Shir. He used to have a Parsha Shir with a group of young boys, public school boys, who didn't have the opportunity to learn much Torah during the week. And he invited them to his home on Friday nights to study with them. And when he thought about Parsha's Kiseitze, he encountered a very obvious problem at the beginning of the Parsha. Because the Parsha begins by describing the Eishas Yafas Torah. The Torah describes when the Jewish people go out to battle. If one sees a beautiful woman, she's a non-Jewish woman on the battlefield, and he desires her, the Torah essentially permits a soldier to take this non-Jewish woman as his wife. And it's one of the most perplexing things in the Torah. And Rashi comments, Lo dibra Torah ela keneged Yitzhahara. The Torah is responding to the Yitzhahara. Because if we were not to allow him to marry her, he would want to marry her nonetheless. He would marry her be'iser if we didn't allow him to marry her beheta. So Becheskel Abramsky was thinking to himself, every Friday night I try to teach these boys Torah mitzvos. I try to teach them the importance of making good decisions. I try to teach them the importance of not giving in to their animalistic urges and to be able to make more elevated choices. And here I'm about to teach them a parsha that describes you go out to battle, you see a beautiful woman, you're attracted to her, and the Torah essentially says, if you're interested, you can take her for yourself. How am I going to, to give this over? How does this fit into the general framework of Torah and mitzvos, which guides us to make more elevated decisions in our life? And Rebbe Cheskel Abramsky said, he said he finally realized what to, what to share with the boys. He sat down Friday night, and he said to them, I want to tell you that what we're going to learn tonight, this Shabbos, is going to obligate you in the entirety of the Torah. And he went on to explain exactly this passage of the Eishas Yifas Torah and the Rashi, Lo Dibra Torah Ela Kenegidi Yitzhahara. And he explained to them that the fact that the Torah permits one to take this woman is simply because the Torah understands that the psychological pressure, the emotional pressure, the challenge of being on the battlefield makes it impossible for a person to choose otherwise. But Sedra Bichaskal Abramsi, what that means is that everything else the Torah asks of us, even when it seems really, really difficult, is entirely possible. That a person does have the spiritual strength, the emotional strength, the physical strength, the mental strength, to be able to make that right choice. Because if the Torah, the Torah identifies that if it would be too hard, Hashem wouldn't ask it of you. And that's what he taught those boys on that Friday night. And I'm thinking about it in the context of Chodesh Elul, when the Torah gives us the opportunity as we prepare for the Yom Adin, to engage in the tshuva process. And when the Torah describes in Parshish Mitzvah the tshuva process, it reminds us that HaMitzvah Hazos, which the Ramban says is a reference to tshuva, it's not too distant, it's not too hard, it's not hidden from you, it's not concealed from you, it's not something that's impossible to do. Sometimes when we start to look at uh, our lives and we make an accounting of the last year, it seems like it's a lot to make some serious changes in our life. But when we remind ourselves that if it were impossible for us to choose better, Hashem would say, you don't have to choose better. That's the lesson, that's the concealed lesson of the Eishas Yafas Torah. That if it's impossible for you to make a different choice, the Torah would say, I grant you permission to do the thing that you want to do. And therefore, if the Torah asks us to do tshuva, even if it seems difficult at times, it's entirely possible. And the same thing is true for every other mitzvah and every other word that Hashem commands us through His beautiful and holy Torah. So I wish us all continued uh, success at the beginning of the yeshiva year. We should continue to engage in Chodesh Elul and realize that while tshuva at times seems like a daunting task, it's entirely within reach. And in Ritz Hashem will continue to make those right choices and uh, continue to grow together. I wish everyone a wonderful Shabbos.